Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Daniel with a key fob video for you. Going to show you a couple tips and tricks on how to use this, including how to change out the battery. So here are a couple basics, how to unlock the car. The one below there with the mini wings, that is your lock button, followed by the boot release or trunk release, depending on where you're from. And of course, the alarm if it's equipped with that option. The key fob also has an internal key, so all you got to do is press the silver button here and pull out to separate the two. So to remove the battery, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. You want to insert that on the side where it shows mini and pry that up. And then you're going to want to pull that key out of the key fob as well, because you're going to use that as a tool here in just a second to access where the battery is actually stored inside the key fob. In the owner's manual, it actually recommends using the internal key to pry up where it says mini to access where the battery is, but I found that to be a little bit more difficult than I'd like. This is where you're actually going to use the key to pop the portion up to access where the key battery is. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what size it is. That way you don't have to whenever your key battery dies. That way you can just go to the store and buy one. Uh, you can find this same battery in a lot of watches that are sold in most stores now, so it should be pretty easy to find in a store whenever that time comes. I found out that the battery life in them lasts a couple of years, and so you should be able to use one key no problem for about two to three years. One of the reasons you would want to remove the internal key is to use it in case the car battery died so you can still get in the vehicle. You want to insert it on the driver's side door handle there, press up, it will release this cover, and then you can use the internal key to actually get inside of the vehicle to lock or unlock the doors. And you just want to clip that thing back in. You'll see one area where there's a notch and you want to slide it in. Make sure you hear a nice popping noise when you do that. And it's going to be nice and secure from there on out. The next tip is just for you convertible owners out there where you can actually use that internal key to lock or unlock your glove box. So let's say you want to go inside a store and leave your top down, but you want your belongings secure in the glove box. This is one way that you can do that. This next tip will work with most manufactured cars today. All you got to do is press and hold the lock or unlock button to roll up or roll down your windows. In this case, the windows are already down, so I'm going to press and hold the lock button here and roll the windows up. And I keep my finger on it to close the sunroof all the way as well. This is going to be fantastic for those hot summer days here in Florida. So the way to roll it down is you press the unlock button twice, but the second time you keep your finger down and you're going to roll the windows down. And as long as you keep your finger down, it's going to open the sunroof for you as well. At any point in time, you can remove your finger from the button and it will stop the windows or sunroof wherever you lifted your finger up. If you want to fine tune the settings of your key, go to vehicle settings, doors and key, and then you got your key button settings. So you can adjust those to the unlock button for driver's door, all doors, followed by the tailgate button where you can do the tailgate tailgate opens after unlocking, tailgate and doors, and also the button lock. And all that means is if you press the tailgate button, it's actually not going to unlock the boot for you anymore. The other options that you have too is to automatically lock if you forget to lock the car, locking after you start to drive, which is 10 miles an hour, unlock at the end of a trip, flash to lock or unlock, and you also have the acoustic one, but that's going to be if you have the alarm. So check your key fob. If you got that red alarm button there, your vehicle has it. Another thing you may or may not know what your mini key fob does when you lock and unlock your car is it will lock or unlock that fuel cap door for you. So if you pull into a gas station and your doors are locked, you won't be able to access that gas cap area. So make sure that's unlocked so you can get in there with easy access. And of course you have your more basic feature for the boot release or the tailgate. Just press and hold that. You'll hear a release from the car and then you can easily access your boot area with that simple function right there alone. Then if you lock the car, you'll see the tail lights flash and unlock another flash. If your battery's low, hold it up next to the steering column here this will ensure a better chance of your vehicle starting if you haven't placed that battery just yet. 